Yeah. Okay now. Somebody done the one that say ah. This one where this guy just they blow music every morning when we say nah instrumentals now nah, you get it. Yes. Yes. I don't discover say happiness. Jolly jolly. It they help life. You know, no be small. You know, especially when you look for look at all the things where they happen around us. For inside the whole Obodo Nigeria and inside the world, Obodo world generally. You go don't say if person don't take a music with himself. Oh the person go get problem. But I don't they pray, say we, we, you wait they watch me and me myself. None of us go get problem. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever and wherever you are watching me from, thank you very much for watching. This is Serious Matters on Only TV, and I'm making it a jolly, a jolly season. A jolly season on Serious Matters. We will be tackling serious matters in a jolly mode. You know, it gets us, you know, truth, they enter people, but when you they take and silence it, no be all the time, you're you did it like that, you must do it like this. Oh, why did you not do it? Like, no, no, no. You know, if you get some, you say, ah, ah, that's it, that one way you do now. Nah. You get as it be. You go enter your body. So that's why I want to enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Lukule Abraham. And we go look plenty matter on top of this particular show yes uh, and you know like at the top now jolly season oh okay make i show you some dancing step eh eh somebody says yeah you yeah, you think say you think say you feel dance eh you the thoughts on the battle <laughs> oh my village they say that nah, when dance when man wants when man want when he want when he want confuse everybody with it that he go come do he go come do you know Yeah, okay now. Anyway, I will they give you full studio mood very, very soon. Maybe say you go to see us as we they blow, as we they dance for this place, as we they tackle, you know, serious matters. But this particular one, we won't talk about this particular matter. Uh, we concern uh, Wiki. You know, say uh, now two things about at least two things we go tackle. Or maybe about three. You know, concerning politics and news where they you know fly around Nigeria on top primaries. You know, say PDP they don't do their own primaries and uh, Tiku win. Uh, you remember say Wiki and Atiku now they be the last men standing for inside that party after Tambowa now in step down for Atiku. Uh, uh, people they talk and say, ah, you know, Atik Tambowa is Atik is um, weakest friend. Uh, you know, that's why I always tell you, blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. And so you cannot, uh, you cannot take that. Uh, you can't expect Tambowa to step down and give Wike his uh, delegates. No, 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 no. You know, but Wike has come out to blow hot. He no blow hot on Atiku. He no blow hot on Tambowa. He blow hot on Southern governors. You know, one thing where I don't discover for this our area, we say, we know they support ourselves. And we know they support that. We too, we don't like ourselves. Now, now people wait there and I'm with the support. We know they support ourselves. That's why we know they grow. That's why people know they grow for this side. Me go grow because me, I they support people. I they support waiting people they do. You understand? I know just they look people. I know they, I know they, I know they envy people. I say, oh, because it's growing, I will do everything possible to make sure I, I will not support his growth. If you know support in growth, other people will support. People where you know no self, they support. You know, this video now, some people they watch all the way from America, some they watch from Yugoslavia, from different countries. People they watch these videos. You know, so when you say you know we support somebody, they get us in the beef for person, but they, you know, they out of one B over over seven billion people way there on top there. You come now singular say you know we support somebody. Oh come on. No there's no the no the joke. Oh. You know, maybe we enter these serious matters concerning we can we get on blow hot on top um, you know, Southern governors out out they no support and they prefer to support Atikun against uh Wiki. You know, why they do that one, we know we don't know. But make we look the matter we uh, we as the matter be on top of um, the news this morning. River State Governor, yes, on Wiki as in La Ponte. Governors from the southern region for betraying and causing him to lose the presidential ticket of the People's Democratic Party to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Wicked during an event organized to welcome him after the presidential or uh, PDP presidential primaries in um, River State described the governors from the south as betrayers and stated that they will suffer for their actions in the nearest future. Well, we do not know precisely why Wiki said.
said that. But the Whistler reported that the Dribble governor attacked the Southern governor colleagues a few hours after Atiku paid him a visit at his Abuja residence on Monday. Because after the primaries, um, Atiku, uh, Wike went to visit Atiku. Atiku also paid him a visit to tell you that, uh, no, these guys are working together. Uh, whoever wins, you know, Wike also said itself. Credit to the Whistler. We have done our own part, Wike said. He said, we never betrayed anybody because it's not in our blood to betray. It is a shame to, uh, to those people, some of our governors of the South, that they are the people they use to sabotage us. Moreover, we have shown them that we are not like them. We have the capacity to do whatever is good for us. He also said, he also said, at the event streamed live on Facebook and monitored by the Whistler um, at that event when he now eventually returned to River State. He did a lot of moves yesterday before returning to River State and welcoming him back to River State uh, now and then do all those things. Mm. Okay now, bros, bring him up now. Eh? Uh, mm -hmm. No go be your portion. H ah, I beep you no be your portion. You get blood pressure, but no be the nah, normal one you get. Eh, make a correct that one straight away. Eh? Just just celebrate. Just be happy. Just be happy. Whatever the case is, just be happy. Celebrate. Eh? Celebrate. I don't say the news is the news where they they know they palatable, but please do still celebrate. Eh? Jolly. Jolly, still find a, you know, a lot of things they have about this country now. Remember I said, the guy, those those people where they kidnapped for inside train, they're still almost 67 days after they have been kidnapped. Our government has not done anything about it. They are still there. Those guys still released the video showing them yesterday. Asu is still on strike. Students are at home. You won't kill us. I see, we are going to think, 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 think. I mean, you know they're okay now. So now that one won't carry for heart now. If they are alive, make it just a thank God, though. Eh? Okay. Merrick returned back to waiting uh, happened for inside River State. They are touching PDP. Now PDP we still a deal with now. The River State governor came second, second at the primary election with 237 votes, while the winner Atiku pulled 371, which is not really bad. That means he did very well. We, that's the first time, and he's doing he's doing 237. That's a lot. Did very well with the help of the Sokoto State Governor. Atiku was able to pull 371. That's Aminu Tambowa, who had stepped down and asked the supporters to vote for the Vice President. Recall that Tambowa and Wike they were very good. As a matter of fact, we understand that he uh, uh, um, Wike already gave about 500 million naira to Tambowa to support the rebuilding of their central market that got um, that they were trying to rebuild hoping that he was going to support him but like i would always tell you blood is thicker than water i tell you blood is thicker than water and that's one thing we should notice about this about the northerners they are their brothers keepers they are always their brothers keepers and it's something we should emulate in the southern part of nigeria we get told the cross section of his supporters that attended the event that he is happy and proud to have run against Atiku and made a political statement on the importance of River State as of the three states that determine the outcome of the general el election. Now, he added that his decision to run for the PDP presidential ticket was taken based on the agreement of the Southern governors that the presidency should return to the region in 2023. But they still went around to do against him. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing we should worry about. I contest the election based on the principles and agreement of all the Santa governors and leaders of the South that the presidency should go to the South this period. I don't want to talk about some other people who cannot even win election in their, in their own places. I have told them that in this election, I made a vow to the PDP that whoever emerges, I will support him. Yes, it might be painful for us or for you, for all for us, us, but we cannot abandon the party. And let me also say, those who do not understand and take River State for a ride now have learned their lessons. You need us. Forget about those people who have, you know, nothing to offer. I saw one governor who was dancing. Meanwhile, he did not bring one single delegate. For me, we have done what we are supposed to do. <laughs> 
and stood firm in what we what was agreed upon by the entire South. Leave his history for the betrayers of their own people. History with judgment. Then they will live and see their see how betrayers suffer. We have done our own. Governor Wiki added, if I wanted to scuffle this convention, I would have done that. There are people who think who you think are human beings, but are not human beings. I told Atiku this afternoon when he came to see me that some of the people who are following you here don't have one vote. They are empty. I have votes, so I have something to offer. Well, that is it from PDP. Let's move on to Labour Party, where the uh, hon, the, the one and only uh, Peter will be as one the primaries of the uh, election. Okay, somebody or got the talk say make we dance small. Eh? Okay now. Eh? Eh? Okay. All right. Okay now. Make I give you this one. Yes. Peter will be. Oh, to win, eh? He don't win now. Ticket for inside Labour Party. Somebody tell me, say, ah, how can that be? What brought about that? I said, those are the stories for the gods. Hey, <laughs> God, it's none of my business. All I have always known is that Peter will be is a man of the people. And when he entered Labour Party, he was accepted. He was received. He was a man for them also. He saw that he had a spirit that, had, that was in line with what they had to do, what they wanted to do. And somebody said, with the likes of Patu Tomi and their likes, have you forgotten that Patu Tomi is a wonderful man as well, a man with the heart of the people, a, but an elderly, an elderly man. Let's see what happened in that place. Something took place. But you told me did something very honorable. And the rest of them who are going to run for the presidency in that party, they saw something and so they stepped down. Let's see what part you told me had to say on top of this particular matter. Okay, now let's see. Okay, yes, yes, hear him now. We have to function in the way that we see to have very little care. Look at how the students have been at home for so many months. And all that as we are asking for is less than a quarter of what one man has for me. Can you continue like that? Can you continue like that? Change that we want is about to be. And you know what gets me really excited? is because I have poured my whole life into this Next year, it will be 50 years since a group of students and myself, best of Nigeria and Yuka, led a movement to overthrow the student union so that we could have solidarity amongst all the Nigerian students. 50 years ago, next year. And it's not by accident that it's a symbol that that struggle is about to be approved. But you know, I'm one of those people who come from the private sector, the public sector, and the civil society sector. As a person in the private sector, I know that when you really, really have struggled and you want to get things going much further, you do something. Look at the facts. What are the major CEOs doing? They become group managing directors. As they become group managing directors, they appoint younger, stronger people to become the managing director. See that what I'm doing? City Bank is doing it. Um, Access Bank is doing it. Everybody is doing it. Today, I want to become the group managing director. And I want somebody who shapes my ideas, my passion, and is younger than myself, and I have worked for many years to become managing director. This is why I say to you that I will give charge to Peter Obi to leave the Yes, things they happen for inside this country. Yes. It's as though we are beginning to have a different type of mindset. 
Yes. We know who can do the job. Yes. So even the elders, they know that young minds are better off, you know, put on the stage than the elderly ones. Even though they know better, they feel and they will prefer to be on the background supporting, giving advice that will help the young ones do better. Yes, that is what you heard uh, Pat you told me say. He is older, so he feels that they are stepping. He wants they are stepping down. He feels that they all the the Peter will be being a younger person, not just because it is not an issue of he just came into the party. And also remember that Peter Obi has his own supporters. He has people following him, even from PDP. Some people followed him into Labour Party. So you are sure to have such a thing happen. Congratulations to Peter Obi, and we hope that he will not just win the primaries. He will also win the secondary and the tertiary put together. All right. Well, that is just to say congratulations to him. Congratulations to Atiku Abubakar, former vice president of Nigeria on the platform of the PDP. Let's run quickly to APC. This thing, they cost me, oh, you know, get choice. Please just share this video. I know if they run around like this now because of you, now because of you, eh? Oh, yeah, dance now. Eh, Jaju, now Jolly now. I don't tell you, say, now Jolly with day. You know, go day quiet as he done the day before. Eh? Who remember this dance? Uh, okay, now this one, I you they do know. I don't know how they do that. This is so I'll tell my piggy me the question. <laughs> help me for this particular matter. Okay, let's run quickly. Let's look at what is happening in the APC. Well, I saw a particular news yesterday that some people inside APC, inside APC, don't the petition, they come the screening committee. Remember, I said the screen, you know. Uh, all those presidential aspirants, including the one and only Jagaban, uh, yesterday. And he talked quite a number of things. He talked about the coming of Econet and the likes into Nigeria. I think how he has participated in rebuilding the nation. So far, so good. How he has made impact uh, as far as uh, Nigeria is concerned. But let's quickly run and look at you know what is uh, what, what what's happening with respect to um, uh, um, APC. Okay, listen to some music while I get you some of the details that we need to you know give you. Uh, we are going to be looking at the what's it called now together the petition. Yes. Uh, don't mind me. Oh. When I show you this picture, it only tells you that when you think of APC, the only person that comes to mind, the picture that comes to mind, is the picture of the one and only Jagaban Ashwaju Bola Metinubu. Is the only picture that comes to mind. That's the only person. Is the mind. That's the only person that comes to mind. Apart from that, then we can now begin to think of others. Others, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu and others. Okay, maybe you say Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, Professor Yemio Sibaju, and others. Hey, hey, okay now, maybe the focus, because the focus and the beam light, the satellite is on Ashiwaju Bola Metinubu. Um, um, they, 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 there has been a petition against him, against, I mean, not, not particularly, uh, you know, to him, but concerning the screening, screening committee to disqualify him. Uh, well, let's take it straight away. APC member petitions, presidential screening committee. Take it down, bros. Take it down, bro. Take it down. Take it down. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Screening committee seeks disqualification of Tinobu over alleged age falsification. Chicago University certificate scandal, um, as um, reported by Sarah Reporters. Credit to Sarah Reporters. A member of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Shaga Mai Iyali, has asked the party's presidential screening committee to disqualify one of his aspirants, Bola Metinubu, over the alleged certificate. Forgery. I don't know why is just why is it why is it the only one? Why not why not check others too? Maybe you have checked others and it's the only one. No, let's not do like that. Let's just be neutral in our decisions, in our judgments with respect to all these aspirants. And I don't want us to be 
selfish and so that we don't hurt ourselves in the end. Now, the petition dated May 17, 2022 was submitted on Monday, May 30th, and its receipt was acknowledged by one Emmanuel Ekpan. Um, Tinubu's academic qualifications have been a subject of controversy for over a decade. Uh, he had indicated he graduated from the University of Chicago in his INEC uh, Form 001 field when he contested the Lagos State Governorship pool in um, 1999. The former governor also claimed in the affidavits that he attached to the INEC form that he lost his university degree certificate while he was on exile between 1994 and 1998. Human rights lawyer Chief Ganefayeme S A N um, late. Guess we forgot to add that. Had also questioned Tinubu's credentials and credentials and sued the Nigerian police force for failing to investigate um, him. The Supreme Court, in his judgment on May 10, 2002, ruled that Tinubu could not be prosecuted by the police for alleged uh, certificate forgery. The Apex Court also ruled that the Inspector General of Police could not be compelled by Ghani to investigate Tinubu for alleged certificate forgery as he enjoyed immunity at the time. In a uh, petition uh, sent to John Odige Oyegun, chairman of the Presidential Screening Committee of the APC, Iyali said Tinubu never graduated from the University of Chicago. He added that the former governor lied about his age and state of origin. The APC member further asked that the former Lagos government sh governor shouldn't be allowed to participate in the June 7 primary of the party uh, presidential parties um, primaries. We understand that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who has since procured his expression of interest in nomination forms and has submitted same to the party, has certain issues that clearly amounts to a similar disqualification scenario. From the information contained in prior submissions to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, particularly in 1999, Mr. Tinubu presented a false claim on oath of his attendance of University of Chicago from 1972 to 1976. It is clear now that these claims are false. Now only was his filed and um, the INEC formed with a declaration on oath on December 20, 1999, but it was also contained in an affidavit of sworn, lost sworn of, I mean, told before the High Court of Lagos Ikeja Registry in December 29, 1998. They later claimed that seeks to transpose history is intent untenable. Mr. Tinumbo has to show proof that he attended University of Ch Chicago or he must stand disqualified as the opposition is in possession of this same document. Over the years, the identity of Ashua Jubala met Tinumbo has been shrouded in secrecy. In fact, no one can claim to know the identity of the man. Similarly, the age of Tinumbo is not known to anyone, though it is not contention uh, that he is above the statutory age of 35 years old uh it's equally it's equally important that it's uh his exact age is known the petition reads well like i would always say uh that um uh, uh um Ashiwaju Bala Metinubu is the first picture that comes to mind whenever we uh, whenever we think of the APC. Uh, so he's a national leader in the party, and well, we'll come up with updates as to what happens afterwards. Let's just see, you know, other things on the news and see, you know, how such was being handled. You know, I'd have really loved to take um, um, some comments, but. Um, uh, you know, uh, well, some people are saying that um, Ashiwa, you should just step down. Ashiwa, you should just step down. Um, uh, and, you know, there are so many things. But then it's, yeah, the platform is free for you. Please do drop your comment. And uh, like I would always say, please make them simple and civil. Should we go along with this petition? How true are these petitions? Are you sure these petitions are not just politically motivated? And are you sure they are not just, uh, you know, they're, they're just the Joe Baba? You know, be, you know, Baba, more on Joe Baba. Eh? Okay, uh, so now serious matters will still be, and uh, maybe now that one we go just, um, you know, apply break or. Uh, okay, now, let's say now, here we go, stop on. But make, make we add one. Make we just add one. Uh, when then, then, when then, waiting at the column.
uh, when Ashiwaju they talk, when they give him, uh, in the talk about uh, some things, in talk on top, um, in talk concerning this, um, what they call him, make we just, maybe make we just hear him, uh, waiting in talk concerning. You gonna need to hold on, or maybe as they hold on, make it just a dance. Make uh, my yoga just give me the give me the video sharp sharp. Eh. Okay now. Okay. Babani eh. Babani eh. Okay now. Babani eh. Yes. I won't make you hear Baba himself. Yeah, sure I do. On top, face matter. Eh? Yeah? Ora shiwa ju lo reyyo. Ha! O le reyyo ma. O jye ti po. Ha 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 ha. O ri ba yo. la wo ye. Eh? Oh. Eh? Okay now. Yes. I think we are there now. Yes. Let's see. Okay now. Let's see now. Okay, let's hear. Waiting. Ah, Jagavan talk. On top of this particular matter. All right now. Listen. Yes. You can see, you can see how loaded. Yeah, the guy get credentials. If he no get certificate, but he get credentials. <laughs> the guy get credentials. You know, say your CV, your CV, your CV you no know, just cover. Say you go school. Eh, yeah, if they cover waiting, you don't do. Waiting, you don't achieve. You understand? Okay, let's give it up for Ashiwaju Bola Metinumbo. Let's see how the primary goes and see who APC will be bringing to, you know, compete with the others. And then uh, we'll see who now becomes the president come 2023. Who our own president, Mama Nobari, will be doing Twali and Nova. You know, thank you very much for watching. This is Serious Matters on Unif TV. My name is Olukunle Abraham, and I hope you enjoyed the whole show. Please do. Add a, I mean, submit, I mean, share our videos with others, share it on your own pages and all of that. And, you know, you can communicate with us. Tell us what you think we should do better and, you know, to make the page or to make the program more interesting to you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the show. Have a nice day. So let me just dance and, 
You know, sometimes you are dancing. You are dancing. As you are dancing, you'll just be going. You'll just be going. And you'll just...